The Top 10 Ongoing Construction Projects in Angola Construction is one of the largest industries in the world, and it's only going to get bigger. Today, I'm going to be talking about the top 10 ongoing construction projects in Angola. Just before we start, please do well to subscribe to this channel and kindly like this video. With that out of the way, let's look at the top 10 ongoing construction projects in Angola. Number 10. The Kakulo Kabava Hydroelectric Project It is anticipated that this project will result in one of the biggest hydroelectric dams in all of Africa. It is anticipated that the dam, which will be built on the Kwanzaa River, will have an installed capacity of 2.1 gigawatts. A group of Chinese and Angolan businesses is funding the project, which is scheduled to be finished in 2025. The project will reportedly cost $20 billion. The Angolan people are this project's primary beneficiaries. The project is anticipated to improve living conditions for Angolans, increase economic growth, and create jobs. A group of Chinese and Angolan businesses are contributing to the project's funding. Number 9. The MCA Solar Project 950M NOAA Angola and the U.S. are collaborating on this project, which is anticipated to be one of the biggest solar projects in Africa. It is anticipated that the project, which will be situated in the Namling province, will have an installed capacity of 950 megawatts. The Millennium Challenge Corporation is providing funding for the project, which should be finished in 2024. The project is expected to cost $1.3 billion. The Angolan people are this project's primary beneficiaries. The project is anticipated to improve living conditions for Angolans, increase economic growth, and create jobs. The Millennium Challenge Corporation is funding the project. Number 8. The Zinia Phase 2 Project The Zinia oil field, one of Angola's biggest oil fields, is being significantly expanded as a result of this project. The project is being funded by a group of international oil companies, and it is anticipated to boost oil production by 200,000 barrels per day. In 2025, the project is anticipated to be finished. The project is anticipated to cost $5 billion. The Angolan people are this project's primary beneficiaries. The project is anticipated to strengthen the economy and give Angolans jobs. A group of global oil companies is contributing to the project's funding. Number 7. Cayo Deep Water Port On the Angolan coast, a new deep water port is currently being constructed. Large container ships should be able to dock at the port, and Angola's trade and investment are expected to increase as a result. A group of Chinese and Angolan businesses is funding the project, which is scheduled to be finished in 2026. The project is anticipated to cost $10 billion. The Angolan people are this project's primary beneficiaries. The project is anticipated to increase trade, investment, and employment opportunities in Angola. A group of Chinese and Angolan businesses are contributing to the project's funding. Number 6. The Cabinda Refinery This project is a new oil refinery that is being built in the Cabinda province of Angola. The refinery is expected to have a capacity of 200,000 barrels per day and meet the growing demand for refined products in Angola. The project is being funded by a consortium of international oil companies, and it is expected to be completed in 2027. The cost of the project is estimated to be $2 billion. The main beneficiaries of this project are the Angolan people. The project is expected to meet the growing demand for refined products in Angola and create jobs for Angolans. The project is being funded by a consortium of international oil companies. Number 5. Lobito Railway Rehabilitation Project the Lobido Railway Rehabilitation Project is a major undertaking that will see the rehabilitation of the 1,300-kilometer railway line that runs from Lobido to the Namibian border. The project is expected to create thousands of jobs and boost the economy of Benguela province. The project is being funded by a consortium of Chinese and Angolan companies. Number 4. Luanda International Airport Expansion Project the Luanda International Airport Expansion Project is a $4.5 billion project that will see the expansion of the airport's terminal and runway. The project is expected to create thousands of jobs and boost the tourism industry in Angola. The project is being funded by a consortium of Chinese and Angolan companies. Number 3. Benguela Railway Rehabilitation Project the Bengala Railway Rehabilitation Project is a $1.2 billion project that will see the rehabilitation of a 1,300-kilometer railway line that runs from Bengala to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The project is expected to create thousands of jobs and boost the economy of Bengala province. 
The project is being funded by a consortium of Chinese and Angolan companies. Number 2. Huambo Railway Rehabilitation Project The 800-kilometer railway line that connects Huambo to the province of Kwando Kubango will be renovated as part of the $1 billion Huambo Railway Rehabilitation Project. The project is anticipated to increase the economy of Huambo province and generate thousands of jobs. A group of Chinese and Angolan businesses are contributing to the project's funding. Number 1. The Anjua Dam Project A dam will be built on the Anjua River as part of the $2.5 billion Anjua Dam Project. Both water for irrigation and electricity will be produced by the dam. The project is anticipated to boost the province of Kumin's economy and generate thousands of new jobs. A group of Chinese and Angolan businesses are contributing to the project's funding. Through job creation, economic growth, and lifestyle improvements, these projects are anticipated to have a significant impact on the lives of Angolans. They are also anticipated to assist Angola in achieving its objective of achieving middle-income status by 2025. The people of Angola are the primary beneficiaries of these massive construction projects. These projects are expected to create jobs, boost the economy, and improve the quality of life for Angolans. These projects are a major part of the country's economic development, and they are expected to have a significant impact on the lives of Angolans. That's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more top 10 videos. Thanks for watching.